All right, so let's get into carving this pumpkin. So let's go. Now, oh, how do we want to do this? Let's uh, combine these windows back together. So if I just click here, see where um, the corners have, you know, where you click and drag to expand a window. Um, you can do the same to, to combine them. So if I click in the corner and now just move it up towards the other one, this arrow shows up. I let go and it, uh, as long as the windows are the same size, then it'll do it just fine. So then let's expand this again. Um, I think before we start carving, we want to go to our modifiers and we want to apply our subdivision surface. So that's the thing that's making it smooth. See how if I turn it off, then it's still all kind of jagged. So we want to click apply on this. And now when I go into edit mode, see how it actually added all of those vertices. And I'm in perspective mode right now. I'm going to hit five on the keyboard. Go into orthographic. Okay, so let's hit one to go to front view. And now we're going to carve a face into our pumpkin. So we will go here and click on our knife tool like that. So as far as I know, the knife can only record or can only cut straight lines. So we're going to be somewhat restricted to like, you know, triangles and squares and those kind of shapes. Uh, if you want rounded shapes, then that gets more complicated and you'll have to do something besides the knife tool. Um, but for this project, it's your first one. So let's just do it this way. Keep it easy. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in a little and let's just make a triangle for the eye. So I'm going to put it on a vertice and I'm going to click to add a point there and I'm going to click here and add another point. And then if I hit E on the keyboard, it will let me lift up the knife. It's like lifting it out without making a cut. And then I can go back to this first one I made and add that and then click down there. And now I'm going to hit the space bar. Boom. So it's made those cuts. Okay. Now let's uh, go back to the knife and let's make another eye up here. Actually, it looks like I'm seeing the, uh, the background. Let's turn that off. Okay. Knife tool. Um, I'm not going to be too precise here because, you know, pumpkins, you, you carve those with a, with a knife. Then it's okay if they look kind of sloppy. So go here again, make my cut, hit the space bar. There we go. Oh, that eye is way going to be way smaller than the, <laughs> the first one. That's all right. Okay, then let's do the nose here real quick. Cut it like that. I'll show you what happens if I don't hit E. Let's just go up here like that. There. So that's if. Oh, didn't hit the spacebar. So with the eyes, I'm just planning on using the line that's already there. So that's why I didn't make another cut on the bottom, but this one I'll add a diagonal one to the bottom of the nose. And then let's do some kind of a mouth here. So I'll just go around like this. And then the lower. And hit the deep lower. And the connected line. Space. Okay. So there we've made our cuts. Now what we need to do is select all of these faces and delete them. So let's go into our face select mode. And I'm going to hit C for my, I should find out what this thing is called, but this is where I can just click and drag and it will select everything that it touches. Okay, so I select all those faces and I hit X. Oh, I have to right click to get out of the selection thing. Hit X, delete faces. 
There we go. Then let's come over here to this other eyeball. Let's see. Select those. Uh -huh. Did I get that one? There. Right click and hit X. Delete faces. Some of these, you know, if you have a rectangle triangle, say, one, two. I'm going to this one. See how it gives a corner of the square. I'm just going to shift and I can select those. Okay, that's X, delete faces. And no, I'll just take it. Delete that. All right, select all these. And just so you can see what happens if I, you know, if I extend the selection things outside of it, I'll just come back again and deselect those. Okay, there we go. Then I'm going to right click to keep that selection. And then if I shift and right click on these, I can deselect them. X, delete faces. Okay. There we have our pumpkin all carved out. So next thing we need to do is right now this thing is just paper thin, right? It doesn't have any kind of a thickness to it. So if we go here to our modifiers, click on the wrench for modifiers, and we are going to add this thing called solidify. And already it just adds a little bit of a thickness, but here if you just click on the thickness and drag it, and see how, how that grows. There we go. And it does kind of make the edges here a little wonky. Um, but I think if we just uncheck fill rim, there we go. Now it looks nice and sharp like we cut that out with a knife. And let's look in at our rendered view and see how that looks. Okay, that is looking good. Okay, go back to solid. Now, last thing, let's put a light inside of our pumpkin here. So I am, I mean, we, we could add the light whenever, wherever, and just move it, but let's just make this easy. Go to object, go to snap, and let's go cursor to center. So as long as we have the pumpkin selected, which we do, object snap cursor to center, it'll move the 3D cursor right in the middle of the pumpkin. And then I can go add lamp. And we'll have a point lamp inside there. Now, just from adding that, let's go to rendered. There we go. There we've got our, our glowing pumpkin. Um, if you wanted, you can add a, uh, you know, another object, a candle. You could make a candle and actually drag that in there. But we'll save that for a, a later tutorial. Okay. So last thing, we talked about how with the the texture that we put on there, you know, the bumpiness. It doesn't actually change the geometry of the pumpkin. The edges are still perfectly smooth. So let's add one more modifier here. Go out of rendered mode. I'm going to add one more modifier that will actually uh, deform the, the mesh itself a little bit. So I select that and get my modifier selected. I'm going to go here, add a displace modifier. Okay, um, and it, now it looks like <laughs> all puffed up. So let me scroll down here to displace, and right here where it says texture new, I'm going to click on new, and that doesn't help any really until see this little let's zoom in here so you can see there. Show texture in texture tab. I'm going to click on that. Okay, and by default, it adds a image or movie texture, which there's nothing there. I'm going to click on that and change this to clouds. Whoa, check that out. Okay, so see how we're, we're now in uh, our, our texture panel. So I'm going to go back here, go back to the modifiers panel. Scroll back down to the displace, and now I'm just going to turn the strength way down. So 
Let's do 0 0.05. And I think that works pretty well. So if you look on the edges here, see how, how bumpy that is now. Let's go back to our rendered view. Oh, I love it. Love it. Okay, so there is your 3D pumpkin. Um, so I think that should be good for now. Uh, in the, I'll, I'll do one more little episode here where we can show how to add some scenery to it, put it on a floor and have something in the background. But this will do for our pumpkin.